Today, we're going to test the three strangest methods to make fire. Stay till the end, because the third one is very difficult. So making a fire with a lighter is pretty easy. But what if the lighter runs out of gas? You can still make a fire, and now we're going to try it. So first we need a good tinder. Then we just start to ignite the lighter. But as you can see, it does not really work. So we have to remove this metallic piece. And it works right away. So that was the easiest method of all the three. Next, let's try to make a fire with the sun. For that, we need a magnifier. The light is now getting bundled and it's getting really hot. But it's not hot enough to start a fire, so I'm going to use this glass that is specially made for the purpose of making a fire. But it seems like cotton is not the right tinder, so let's try it with newsprint and birch bark. It started smoking very fast, but could not make a fire. But I didn't want to give up. But after 10 minutes of trying, it still doesn't work. So I'd say we'll try it at noon when it's hotter. So let's try it again, now. Wow, it worked right away. Now let's try the last strange way to make a fire. It's with a battery. So first you have to take aluminum and cut it to the shape of an hourglass. The electricity now flows through and at the narrowest point, it's gonna get really hot. And that should ignite a fire. It should. But this fire technique is not as easy as it seems. After hours of tring, it still didn't work. I was about to give up. But a day later, I was eating something with this packaging. I quickly took the battery and the aluminum and attempted it one more time. And it finally worked. If you liked the video, maybe consider to follow our channel and leave a like. If you want to know how to make a fire even if it's wet, click this video.